Hello everyone, so this is Harsh and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can basically uh, get the n number of keywords from Google related to your primary keywords without you uh, going to Google and look around those keywords. You can easily get the auto suggest suggested keyword by Google for a for a particular term that you are putting into the Google. So and again, this is uh, something that you will get in, in seconds uh, rather than you going to Google and you find and look around those keywords you look at the people also ask you look at the uh, suggestions as well that will take a lot more time than uh, this one so basically in this video i'm going to show you how you can basically do that uh, using this n attend system that i'm about to show you so yeah without wasting any uh, much more time let's get straight into the video so basically this is the system that will basically helps you to uh, do that right so basically let me first unpin all of this so that i can show you uh, show it to you in the real time so now uh, let's uh, run this one and once we uh, run this one we basically yeah okay again let's uh, get rid of this one and yeah so again now let's run this workflow and then let me show you how uh, actually this is going to work so whenever like you uh, execute this workflow it will ask you for adding a keyword uh, for which you want to basically get uh, the auto suggested keyword by google right so let's suppose i'm adding a uh, based crm uh, solution and if i click on submit the workflow will run and it will basically try to find the keywords and then it will basically gives you the output right and the output is much more uh, enhanced uh, in terms of you will get the intent of that keyword you will uh, get uh, the funnel stage of the keyword and also the weightage so, where, so that you can basically prioritize based on the weightage and the funnel stage of that keyword right so again this is the output that you can see on the screen again so now let's uh, also walk through the entire system uh, how it works and all of that so first uh, node that you are right now seeing is the on form submission so for that just click on this button and uh, you can basically go here and then you can basically see the on form submission trigger so whenever like uh, the, uh, you want to trigger this workflow you need to basically fill up the keywords in that form again over here what you can do you can basically uh, add the google sheet trigger so whenever like you input a keyword in a google sheet call a uh, cell this workflow will trigger and it will give you the all uh, suggested keywords from the google in your google sheet itself so again for that entire workflow with google sheet if you want that uh, you can just click the link in the description box below and uh, you can just go there and then download the entire workflow for you <clears throat> so now the next step is like we are actually using the google auto suggest uh, google basically uh, auto google complete url so this is the url that you need to use again just basically copy this url i'll also give this url to you uh, you can use this url directly without using uh, or without signing up for google's uh, cloud console or the, any any sort of other apis right and then uh, this is the uh, because we want to get the data so that is why we are using method get uh, here and then again you don't need to you don't need to do any other settings uh, in it right so yeah uh, once you are done with that then actually because uh, the data that we are going to get is very much messy so uh, for that basically what we'll do is we'll basically use the converter which is like xml to json node right uh, how can you how can you do that you can basically use this which is going to convert uh, xml uh, data and turn that into the json right uh, so we are using that only and then over here we actually property name is data so it will what it will do is it will basically extract all the keywords from this lengthy complex query and uh, then it will uh, organize that in a json format right uh, once we then uh, got the keyword we actually have to uh, split out because if you see all of this is in the one uh, one items and we want to we want all of that into the different items and then for that we use split out uh, right and uh, then basically what we did is here we actually uh, we have to define what uh, data exactly we need uh, that we want to split out right so again this is the top level dot then complete suggestions suggestions and yeah no other field again that's it and uh, then we actually are uh, cleaning up the keyword so let's say for example over here if you see it is come up with the data colon data colon we don't want data colon right so for that we are actually cleaning up the data clean the keywords right yeah we only want uh, the keywords with array uh, which is the 
this one bets based crm solution right and then we actually aggregate all of that into one uh, bucket which is very simple you just need to uh, input the field name which is keyword in our case and then uh, we integrated the ai agent that will basically help us to identify uh, the funnel stage of the keyword intent of the keyword weightage of that keyword and then for that we have used this particular prompt uh, so again uh, in the user message we actually give uh, give this agent the list of keywords and then the in the prompt uh, we have used this one right okay So basically, you are an expert SEO strategist. Your task is to analyze the list of keywords to identify the user intent, determine whether the keyword reflects informational intent, navigational, transactional, purchase, classify each keyword into marketing funnel stage, top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, and bottom of the funnel intent, and assign weightage to each keyword on a scale of 1 to 100, reflect the purchase intent strength and commercial value of the keyword, higher weight for keywords that are uh, closer to decision making and revenue. So these are the criteria for, let's say, uh, uh, let's say if you want this AI to weigh, give the weight to that particular keyword based on what you want to give the give the weight. So here we have defined the criteria that we actually want to uh, weigh, give the weightage higher to those keywords who are very very close to uh, purchase intent, right? Again, uh, my sincere apology, my camera is not working well, so that is why I have closed the camera. And right now I'm not seeing that uh, little square or square uh, camera icon, right? So yeah. But again, so uh, once uh, after this prompt, uh, we are actually uh, we also want the output in a very specific format, right? So that is why we have given this JSON format again. Again, you can use define or uh, let's say if I use this one and yeah. So again, this is the format that we have defined that we want uh, output in this particular format. So yeah, now let's uh, run this once and see execute the workflow and this time just HR management platform yeah and the workflow has been started running and now it will give us the data of that particular keyword uh, with the auto suggested keyword by google so let's see so as you can see keyword is based as hr management bofu uh, which is uh, absolutely correct uh, this is also bofu this is also bofu mofu because based as a system comparison again all of the listicles and comparisons are the mofu pay uh, mofu pages because those are in the middle of the funnel where users are still trying to understand which one is the right solution for them and based on that they will then consider any one of the solution right so again uh, it will give you all of this and in the last what you can do you can add the google sheet and then add all of this data into your google sheet database and then that's it again uh, with just one click of a button you will uh, get the auto suggested keyword from a google within seconds again it, it, it doesn't take more than like i think five seconds right to get all of this data so yeah i think uh, that's that's it if you found this video really really helpful like this video, share this video and subscribe to this channel. And if you want this entire system using Google Sheet, you can just check the link in the description box below and you will get uh, all of the prompts and systems and that URLs actually to be uh, set up and everything uh, in that uh, bundle. So yeah, uh, thank you so much again for watching this video. I'll see you in another video. Till then, bye-bye, take care.